What's up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime, bringing you a new edition of Gundam Models. And continuing with me reviewing books and magazines and all, all that stuff, I have the last series of items to show. And I know this is something that you guys have been waiting for. Um, my massively large and heavy collection of... Hobby Japan and Gengeki Hobby magazines that I've collected um, the years and these past few years. <clears throat> I actually had a larger uh, stack of magazines before, and I think I remember I took it to Gundam Planet and I gave it away. This was before they moved to the new location, so uh, I, I had a lot more. And I wish I, I if I would have known about this, I should have kept it. And I actually gave one magazine to one of my guy to a friend of mine. Don't know if he still has it, but here it is. is a whole stack. So we're gonna go through through this step by step. And some of these I've already. I think I remember doing reviews of these a long time ago. So I'm not gonna do it again. I'll just breeze right through it. We'll just look at more important things at the time. So we're gonna begin with the catalog. <clears throat> that came out last year. We've all seen this before. Um, these Gunpla catalogs um, or navigation catalogs have been distributed throughout the years at, at various cons, whether it's um, Comic Con or Anime Expo or uh, or um, you know where are the places in the United States that and usually it's Bluefin who's been distributing these out. So you know, you gotta give thanks to them, and it's it's a great. Uh, I would say reference material for someone who never got into Gundam. You can give it to them and say, hey, you're interested? Look at this. Look at all the stuff that's here. Break it down. It's all in English. The processing of building, the historical, uh, the history of Gundam. All that stuff. And this was last year's, of course, the um, Sazabi Real Grade came out at the time, as well as the, the Jagan. All the cool information is listed here. In this, in this catalog. I always keep one and I'll get rid of it when I get an updated one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, it'll be interesting to see how 2019 catalog is going to look like. Um, and I'm kind of anticipating how the 2020 catalog will be because next year, if supposedly we're getting a movie, that'll be cool. Or next year, we'll get, you know, um, something in reference to the Olympics. So that's cool to see. Before I jump onto the uh, to the um, <clears throat> modeling magazines, I had one magazine that I purchased a long time ago, and I wish I had a um, a date on this. I should look it up right now. But this is actually a a uh, model. Of, it's called the Mobile Suit Gundam Double the Mobile Suit Double O Gundam Mobile Suit Gundam Fastest Modeling Guide, and this is basically a guide on how to build your Exia, your, your double O kits at the time it was coming out. This has to be over 10 years old. I should look it up online. Um, there's a cool little poster here of Exia and, and the other units. And at the time when it first came out, this, the first few pages focused on the 160th scale. This is of course, bef this is before the, uh, Perfect Grade was released, and I have this kit. I, I'm actually kind of saying to myself, why didn't I show this off when I was building the other kit? I'll do that before the, you know, before this day's over, before the, before anything. But it's a great uh, supplement book on how to build your um, Double O kits. Um, good detail here. I actually use this as some. Re sometimes I use this as references, but. Um, I use it. I had to pull it out so I can use this as a reference to build the Dynamis, which this one has some re really good painting, appreciating look to it, and mine made it a little bit better, as you can see. Yeah, look at that. The only thing was that this didn't this didn't have a guide on decaling. So at the time, I guess they didn't think of putting decals on their uh, double O kits. Here's the Curios. There's a high grade Exia. Dynamis high grade, 
Curios. Virtue. Flag. I have the flag. Yeah. The Terran. Here were the, the, the cheapy one. The cheap the they were fine, you know, for those who couldn't afford a high grade, you can get a standard grade kit, which is the same scale, 144 scale. But and it had great detail. This is basically statues. <laughs> but you can do a, you can put a lot of work into that and make it your own. There's that ship. That ship's expensive as hell. And rare to find now these days. So this came out uh, this was called, this sixteen hundred yen. I know I got this from Hobby Link Japan. I do remember that. All right, so let's begin with the Denge, uh, with the Hobby Japan's uh, magazines. I'm going to do this in order of year. Let's see, that's 2016, 2015, 2008. Good, there we go. So we're going to begin with this April edition of 2008. This is, of course, way before the announcements of of Yamato 21. 99. Go on the gun right there. We'll just go through this quickly on a few pages. Some naughty pictures, you don't want to watch that. Some cool figures, statues. Some ship models, Russian models, cars. Of course, you know, they have a section for girl figure girls and statues. Ah, let's look at that Godzilla. Oh, well, that's not Godzilla, this is uh Baragon. Baragon, nineteen sixty five from uh, from G Frankenstein Conquers the World. Yeah, remember that one. And then here's uh, Godzilla vs. Sa Saisuma. <laughs> There's a whale there. That's kind of cool. So this, I guess, the famous underwater scene. I have to admit, I have never saw this movie. I, I, I don't know why I have not. Godzilla ver oh this is from Godzilla vs. King Kong. Oh cool, that's actually seen the scene from the train. Some common rider figures. Super Sentai, of course. Keyblades. That's nice. I like that one. Final Fantasy figures. Tachikoma. I'm surprised it didn't. It, this didn't take off a lot for a lot of people. I mean, this is a cute little robot, and, and I like the model kit. Never seen to find a good one or a decent price. Uh, oh, this is from Code Geass. Don't know about that one. Let's go fast. Votums right there. Probably from Wave. All right, so I guess this is the article for the for well. Magazines are always meant to go from right to left. So I guess this is the guys who actually worked on on Yamato, and these were the older Yamato kits. 1700 scales. Good detail on this. Very nice. Surprisingly, we're not we're, we're not seeing Bandai doing the updated version of the 11000 scale uh, size of these yet. Hopefully, they will. I I have to admit, I I stopped at uh, episode maybe six or seven of 2202. I have to start watching that again. This is actually, oh, this is actually really nice. 
somebody took the original uh, Andromeda and converted it into a, a hybrid carrier. And hold on a second. If you look at this, just look at this. Remember, this came out in 2008. If you put like something here and here and here and here, doesn't it look like the carry the um, the air carrier from the Avengers? Doesn't that have that look to it? It's pretty amazing. Earth Defense Force battleship, of course, which is the dreadnought. That's a it. That was actually one of my favorite designs. It, it was basic in the way, and I'm glad that Bandai caught captured its uniqueness um, on, in its newer version. It's, it, there was no. There was nothing different to it, just a little bit of modifications here and there in great detail. And I have to say the same for the Andromeda. Which is a dated kit, but it is nice. And then here's the Yamato, which this guy put a lot of work onto this. I see a lot of detail. Yeah, he got he modified this because those anti-aircraft guns, those are not part of the original kit. This is 1700 scale, but those anti-aircraft guns probably came from the original uh, Imperial Japanese Navy uh, Yamato and added on to this, so it gave it an authentic look to it. It's a great looking model kit. That's nice. It's a mu almost museum piece, you could say. Let's see what else we got here. I like these magazines because it always comes with a little poster here. That's Votums and Metal Composite RX-72 Kosovo. Uh, 1 100 scale Virtue. I guess when it was in, it's in the planning stages before it was released back in 2008. Don't know if it was 2008 going to 2000. Yeah, it had to be 2008. This is actually amazing. And usually, when they show you pictures like that, it's usually a few days, a few months later, they release the kit. Stargazer. Uh, this is actually a a scratch build of the Stargazer, one 100 scale. Really nice. I'm surprised we never got a master grade of this. Of course, we got a master grade of this nice little kit. And this is, I think, at the time when Double O was very popular. And, oh, okay, okay, you know what? So, this came out during the time of Virtue because here's instructions on how to detail it. So, if you have the kit, you could use this magazine to detail even further. Both the Virtue version and the Nautilus. Black TriStar. That's actually pretty nice. I, I, I was never a big fan of the color pattern for whatever reason of the black TriStar. But here in this in the few pages you can use the features here to make it your own, make it a little bit better and whatnot. Alright, so that completes that. Alright, so now we're going to May of 2015. And I remember this one. I'm gonna go quickly on this one because this one I already did a review. When I purchased this magazine, it came with the Wing Gundam Zero Hono Custom Kit with those with those swords. Remember those? This was a great magazine. Let's see what was what was popular on this? Some great designs there. Figure girls, of course. Oh, it's a Godzilla. Uh, what year is Godzilla? This has to be X plus 30 centimeters. That's King Kong versus Godzilla version. But where are you? Oh, 1994. Godzilla. Some Star Wars characters, some Super Sentai, or whatever, which I don't remember the series. Oh, Berserker. Some uh, Machine Krieger. You don't... That's actually really nice. I, I like that one. I was trying to get into it, but just, these figures are... So, these kits are so small. 
um, Dugram. Oh, that's actually a good paint job right there. And this one's from Dupe. Um, I think it's. Oh, I forgot the name of it. I can never. Not that I forgot the name of it. I can never pronounce it right. That's five star story kits, I think. Muluf. Can never get into that one for whatever reason. Uh, ooh, Fixed Federation Penelope. And we have a. Do we have a poster of the Penelope? What is this? Oh, a poster of the. Hum oh, you know what? I'm. I'm I want this. I'm, I think I'm going to remove it. I don't know yet. Oh, interesting. So this was the preview meant part of the kit. Let me let me look at this. So we had the revives, um, gun cannon and RX-72, which I have. And then we had the announcement of the real grade double O riser, which um, is actually one of my favorite real grade kits when I purchased it and built it. Then, of course, the origins were coming out at that time. So we have uh, Zaku to um, Char's custom, Char's uh, unit. And then, of course, the announcement of the Master Grade of um, Haokushiki 2.0. And then, of course, we since we I recently built the um, the DJ. Here is the RE version of the DJ, which a lot of people were like saying to themselves, "Why?" And I kind of said to myself, "Why not?" Now that I built the RE, uh, the um, the high grade version of this. I really am interested in getting this. If I see this at a good price, I'm definitely picking it up. I'm not. I'm not going to pay full price. I always try to see if I can get, you know, bottom dollar. That's everybody's, you know, interpretation. This one's a nice kit. I would, wish I should have picked this up. Um, what else was here? From the from double O uh, from uh, Bill Fighter. Try. Reconquista. I have this one. I have this one, and I have really, and I'm thinking, do I have this one? Yes, I do. And that was like my first P band I build, and I I have it in storage, but I'm actually thinking of actually taking the whole thing apart and painting it. I really am. Ooh, that's a nice Gundam Godmaster custom right there. V dash high grade V dash. And then, of course, 00X, the Master Raid. It's pretty nice, though. Rick and Gistia kits. Uh, eesh. I'm sorry to say I stopped at episode 10. I, 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 I don't think I can stomach it, me going, going and watching the series after what I've heard. Of course, I did like this configuration. And, uh... Bill Fighters kits, I remember that time. And this is, of course, one of my... F the only Master Grade Astray that I liked. I hate the Master... I hate the Astray. I hate it. But I love the Astray Sagongan the Sagong and Astray Gundam. And it's a shame that I sold it. But congratulations to the person who won it. And I sent it to him, so, on eBay. Why was this released? I don't know. It's a cute little SD kit, I have to admit, and I could see um, some many possibilities if anybody plans to get it. Just don't transform it into that dragon thing, please. This is actually kind of alright. And then, of course, here are the pages to make the whole. No, 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 no. Oh, well, what's this? Jesus. Oh, this is an updated RX 72 beauty right there. Wow, look at that color. Color separation is crazy. I love it. But here's the Hono. Oh, oh no. We should have gotten a Master Grade of this. Hold on. We should have gotten a Master Grade of this. What do you, what do you guys think? So the next magazine was issue 8, August edition of 2016. I may have reviewed this because at the time that I picked this up, there was these little kind of like figure like things that came with it this and this was it, well it didn't come with this magazine they were they were uh, announcing it but it, uh, there was a special version of this of the uh, RX 93 
and it was like this small. I th I've shown this before. And um, great detail. It was a clear version of it. Just that, you know, didn't realize how small it was. And you you could paint it and put a good lot of, amount of detail on it. Just, um, I don't know how, how, how it fared out to everybody else if they purchased it or not. Sometimes I, I go to cons and I see those kits like filled up everywhere. So like people are not bu either not buying it or I don't understand it, but it is a niche. You know, not everybody's going to be into gashapons. I like gashapons. Oops, you can't see that. It's nudie girls. Nope. Oh. All right, so we got some Bandai Star Wars stuff here. Some weird things I've never seen before. I have to admit that I did like the um, the new Batmobile from uh, Dawn of Justice uh, movie. I think it was pretty cool to see that. That's actually very nice. I like that. One. Uh, oh, it's kind of cute. I like that one, and I like this Godzilla. I think there was a model. That, that, this is a model kit, of course. Original um, Godzilla, 1954, SH Monster Arts version. What the hell is that? Tell me, what the hell is that? Uh, let me see what else we can find. Some, some fire, um, Saint Seiya. Machine Krager. This is actually very nice. I kind of like this one. And, it's, and this is actually a bigger scale. Because I could see the picture of the guy here holding it. So it's like about maybe five or six, maybe seven inches in, in height. Frame arms. And uh, get a Robo. Zabungu. That's a weird name to do. Oh, this is from the Macross Delta line. And oh, this is actually really nice. I'm surprised we never got a model kit of that. I would have bought that one. Ooh, nice. Nice Valkyrie fighter. And the Siegfried. This is from the... I believe this is from... Not Delta. No, this is actually from Delta. Because I'm thinking of... Um, from Macross uh, Frontier. But this is from Delta. And actually it's a good design feature. Good, good design of the of the uh, aircraft. Some tanks here. Oh, I can't wait. To... You know, I purchased a, a, a tank, and I'm now in, in the mood of building one. Even a small one. T72 is nice. And you know, there's a sale right now on Hobby Link Japan, which is not over yet. So it'll be cool to see that. You know, to to maybe pick up a tank. So we got some Russian aircraft here. Pretty cool. I always did like this aircraft. Big, massive jet. There's a guy on YouTube, uh, SteveTheFish.com, who actually was making, um, I think, the fulcrum on his channel. Pretty nice. Huh? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Surprised nobody made a custom of that. Yeah, here's what I was talking about, the little figure things that you can assemble. Uh, simple as you can see, it's easy, just a couple of pieces here and there. But when you finish painting, it looks great and good detail. That's that's if you're willing to take the time to, not airbrush, hand paint them. Uh, cost signature kits. Oh, I would love, I would love to see this as 1-100 scale. This is badass. And here's the poster of the of the EXS Gundam, which of course now we have the 1.5 version of it. And then we have the Wolusu Gundam's Iron Blooded Orphans Tekken Su no Gumpla Love. I don't know how you pronounce that, sorry. If I butchered that. Um, the announcements of the real grades Sananju. And then, of course, the high grade. Um, 
the high grade Haokushiki, or probably the revived version. Of course, I remember getting this, the RE, uh, the uh, the not the RE100, the regular 1100 scale Camaras Trooper, which I used to build my current kit. Those of you who don't remember. And of course I have this kit, which paint, the paint job came out pretty well. Uh, what kits did I purchase lately on this? Actually, none of these. I know this is a P Bandai, and that's actually really nice. Um, remember building that one, the or the Thunderbolt version, uh, the Ostroth Origins version. I remember when that was coming out; everybody was going crazy over that one. Fire, um, no, never seen that one before. What's this? Um, oof, man, the Manrati customized. Wow, and I thought mine was was crazy, but that's actually kind of cool though. Gray Centaur, Gray's kit. I have to build the Grays. I haven't had the opportunity to build mine yet. And of course, here's the for the Force Impulse Gundam, but this is the revive version. I have this revive, and I found it. And I was gonna actually sell it, but then I said to myself, "No, I'm not gonna sell it. I'm gonna build that one." And I just recently purchased the real grade version of this guy. I was kind of sad to send off my um, real grade Unicorn Gundam, considering it's a real grade, and I, I sent it on its way. But now that I purchased the full armored version of it, I can't wait to build that one. Oh, and I just recently purchased this, the high grade version of the no, the same end, is it? Zaku 2 FZ. Yeah, I think this is from 0080, 0080, right? It looks like it. I buy, I bought the high grade version of it. And we're all waiting for the RE uh, RE one hundred version. Some great documentation here for Universal Century kits. So that concludes all the Hobby Japan magazines I have. So the next set of magazines I have right now are the Dengenki Hobby magazines. I only got two. Wish I, I thought I had more than that. Um, we'll go with the oldest issue, which is May of two thousand eleven. This one came with the parts to make the wagtail if you had the type C um, high grade kit which I did and don't know what I did with those parts I think I don't know if I printed it storage or whatever but yeah I, I'm kinda like kicking my ass saying to myself why didn't I build the wagtail and it looks really nice though when you look at it let's go back to this here we go that's actually a really nice looking kit And it's a, it's a very easy kit to build, the high-grade version. Some customization designs, of course, the Hazel, which we now have as a high-grade slash master-grade slash P-Bandai, if you want to look at it that way. Um, Isaac Epidurium. <laughs> Epidendrum? Epidendrum. I wouldn't mind seeing that as a as a as a kid, or hell, I wouldn't even mind seeing extra parts to make it. There probably is a conversion system out set out there. Yeah, here's some more. Oof, wow, if that's actually crazy. I remember having. I bought this one and I sold. I, I sold it. Don't know why. Don't ask me why. Um, at Beyond when it was first announced, I have that kit. There's the um, double low riser master grade kit. Stuff in black and white. What was this here? Oh my God, that's that's right. The mega scale um, Zaku two, which was converted into the Zaku one. And I haven't actually been thinking about getting a Zaku one recently. Um, in the recent, uh, right now in the. Um, have a link Japan sale right now that's happening. It's almost done now. But I was hoping to see maybe the Zaku 1 on sale. Uh, high grade. Not high grade, excuse me, master grade. 
That's actually a really cool custom ball set. This one is a section of how to scratch build or do something with the Gabaldi Beta. Oh, no, this is 1 100 scale. So I don't know what kit you're using to build this, but that's kind of cool to turn it into 1 100 scale. Ah, uh, right, this came out during the movie of uh, Double O um, Waking the Trailblazers. Ah, uh, remember this one? This is actually a really cool poster. Hold on, let's see if we can get that up. Look at that, that's really nice. I would not mind. I actually wanted to get this, and I saw the the one sub, not one, was it 148 scale? Huge, beautiful, like this one. I miss Dengeki Hobbies. They have some great stuff. Now everything is all online and things like that. And other publications were probably suffering a bit. Hey, Transformers. But it would have been nice to see them continue on. Maybe do maybe they should have done like a quarterly magazine, not a monthly magazine. I would not mind waiting like every three months for a magazine like that. Ooh, I kinda like that one. And then we have some figure kits. Alright, we're just going to peruse this quickly. And of course, real grade strike Gundam. Then this is January 2013. This is of course in, on the uh, on the height of the um, of, um, what do you call it? Yamato 2199. And this came with its own little figure of the of the fighter. I always called it the Black Tiger fighter because it was from it's the same overall design of the Black Tiger. I know it's a different uh, name, but I, I have that I have that kit which I haven't built. As well, I have the Agashapon version of it, and as well as the 172nd scale version of it, which I should have built. <laughs> and I call myself a Yamato fan. Metal Gear. Let's see what's around here. Yeah, here, here are all the fighters in different color tones, and it's interesting. I kind of like this because it tells you how to prep it to paint it and all that stuff, especially the canopy. It it comes with. Does it come with decals? I don't remember this one coming with decals. I have the box. I just have to look for it. You could probably scan this and put it on because it is the same size. Of course, there's the 1 1000 scale uh, Yamato. The real grade Zeta. Which I've been meaning to buy a Zeta kit for a long time because that was actually my first Gundam kit ever. And I was actually thinking of buying the original, original Zeta Gundam. The original. 144 scale non transformable Zeta Gundam. But uh, I don't know yet. Bryland Custom. I have the original Bryland. What's this? Ooh, yeah. Let me, let me bring this here. Check that out. And of course, the flip side of this, and this is actually a better poster. Solomon Express. Very big and beefy molded. Jupiter Ghost. That is a crazy, crazy design right there. I love that one. Solomon Express. The White Devil. The Zaku 2, which of course they called it the Zaku 2. Yeah. That's like some crazy overall, like bulky designs right there. I like the Marsai version. That's actually really nice. The hell is that? The Polizzi? The Polizzi? That's some great work right there. H3 Fortress. Which would, would, that would have been that. I guess I, I know I'm speaking for a lot of people out there, but we would have loved to see a we would have loved to see a one one hundred scale version master rate of the H three, which we would never got. This is actually pretty nice, and I see some parts here that can actually be merged into this, so you can make this version of it. Which, of course, as you can see, is right there. Ooh, what was 
that? Ah, oh, that's right. The Verka of the of the um, of the new Gundam when it was first announced. Everybody was going crazy for that one. Not to mention the Verka um, Master Grade uh, San Andrew Stein, San Andrew Stein, the Master Grade um, uh, Brazil, I think it is Type D. That was actually a really nice kit right there. Master Grade Justa. I, I've been meaning to buy another Justa for a long time, and um, Gundam Planet had the Justa, but from the narrative line, and I was actually considering of getting it, but again, at this moment in time, I can't buy a lot of things yet. There's some Zoid stuff here. Grand Lagoon. Grand Lagoon, how you want to say it? And more figures, which of course, that's it. And of course, here's the Zeta Real Grid, which I heard it was not the best kit out there. Last kit, last magazine, excuse me. Hobby Magazine. Um, I picked this up. I don't know how. I think I picked it up during some of the sales, but I liked it. I liked this magazine because this was a reason why I kind of liked it because I love this custom design of the Zeta. And check out this, where there's pistons right under where the waist unit, is, waist section of it. Clearly, this is this is kind of an inspiration look to it. For those whoever made this, must have thought, you know, oh, you know what, this is great. And maybe somebody thought of, saw that and said, you know what, the Barbatos would look great like with that piston on it. And of course, that's my interpretation of that. That's my interpretation. But yeah, this was like a one-off magazine that I've never seen before. It had some great picture des design right there. Good detail though of that kit. Here's the Haukashiki before it became 2.0. The Kubale, which I never purchased. Never got the high grade version. Maybe I one day one. Uh, maybe I should one day. Um, the O, big kit, big boy. Of course, it's big boy right there as a as a 144 scale. And we have the Palace Athens, which would have been great. You know. Palace Athens looks amazing, but I would love to see this as a as a one one hundred scale. I would take a, an RE version of this any day. I recently got the Nemo. That's really, this is actually a really cool kit. And it's a good design though. I'm starting to learn to appreciate older kits now or older designs, because now with me customizing and building kits, um, I'm, my head's full of ideas now. So oh, I want to do this or I want to do that. So. At this moment in time, this just has some pretty cool stuff here. Nothing crazy. Um, they're old design. There's the... Full, full. Yeah. I think that's it. I'll probably go through this again. Alright, so there you have it. These are the kit, the magazines that I have collected and I've had in storage for a while. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet put them in order so you guys can see this. Uh, some of these I will definitely consider of selling. Some won't because there there were articles that I would like to review and take a look at. Um, if you guys are interested in one of them, let me know. I don't. I'll I'll let you know what I what I think at this moment. Um, just email me on my on my on my you know Strider Strider Prime at gmail.com or message me through through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. But there you go. I may find more magazines. I may find more stuff. I don't know yet, but when I do, I'll definitely share it. Maybe not now, maybe later. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching and stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. You guys all have a great day.